ROC, report range, go for launch. Range, go. CSCR, you go for launch. Roger. T minus 70 seconds. SSC, hydraulics internal. Internal. T minus 60 seconds. LCDR, T minus 60 second limits on. On. Water flow. T minus 45 seconds. 100% locks. LCDR, launch enable to flight. Flight. ATC3, main power disable on. On. T minus 35 seconds. Hydraulics are go. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds until 15, launch. 14, 14, 13, 12. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have liftoff. Liftoff of a Delta II rocket carrying GOI 1, the world's highest resolution commercial Earth imaging satellite. See our world better than ever. Steady state levels, coming up on 45 seconds. Mark, 45 seconds, altitude 2.2 nautical miles, downrange distance 8.5 nautical miles, traveling at 1,093 miles per hour. Chamber pressure is uh, beginning to decline as we're uh, getting ready to burn out. Our four motors burned out. Be holding on uh, to those uh, four motors uh, for about 10 more seconds uh, as we're preparing to jettison. Make sure we have a good impact point. Standing by for separation of those uh, airlet and uh, correction, those uh, groundlet motors. And we have a jettison of the uh, four solid motors, one, two, six, and nine. You're listening to One Steve Aggett. 36 Aggin. seconds into the flight, altitude now 16.6 .6 nautical miles, downrange distance 4.7 nautical miles, traveling at 1,420 miles per hour. And Steve's in the telemetry lab, keeping up with everything Engine, going uh, on with the mission. Chamber pressure is continuing to look rock solid. Vernier chamber pressure also good. Engine steering is good, well within our ability to control. The engine uh, pitch and yaw continuing to look good, well within our ability to control. Two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Now passing through 25 uh, nautical miles, downrange distance 7.8 nautical miles, traveling at 2,194 miles per hour. Engine uh, chamber pressure is a very good solid state level, good steady state level. Main engine pitch and yaw and vernier pitch and yaw are very, uh, very stable, very little engine movement. Coming up on uh, 3 minutes, 11 seconds into the flight, uh, altitude now passing 37.2 nautical miles, 51 nautical miles downrange, traveling at 4,590 miles per hour. One minute now remaining until main engine cutoff. Continuing to look good.
Hydraulic uh, system pressure is good. Uh, 30 seconds now remaining in the uh, first stage flight. Seconds now until Miko. To the 52 nautical miles, 141 nautical miles downrange at uh, 9,060 miles an hour. As we're standing by for Miko. And we have dropped on chamber pressure on the main engine. And vernier chamber pressure beginning to drop. We've got separation, second stage chamber pressure beginning to build. Second stage burn underway. Burning has jettisoned. Five minutes, one second into the flight. 72.2 nautical miles in altitude, 266 nautical miles downrange and 1,487 miles per hour. This uh, first uh, burn of the uh, second stage should last about 6 minutes 45 seconds. In our comparison times for our mission events, uh, all mission events occurred very, very close to their expected time. Good uh, steady state chamber pressure on the second stage. A little over one minute into that second stage burn. There are five and a half minutes remaining. This is Delta Launch Control, and we've successfully passed several of the early mission milestones. You heard Steve Agad. He let us all know that we've had successful MECO and jettison of the fairing as well. So everything uh, on track, everything going as planned at this point. This is Delta Launch Control as we continue to monitor the Delta II mission carrying GOI-1 for GOI.